Hello and welcome everyone in YouTube, Right Stick, and we back again for another video. Today I'm gonna do the unboxing for the Samsung Galaxy J3 Achieve for Boost Mobile and Sprint. This phone also available uh, as unlock. It will be called uh, Samsung Galaxy J3 2018, and this phone also available through AT&T. So without any further ado, let's find out more about the J3 Achieve. You should always make sure to when you purchase device this phone will fit your need. The Samsung Galaxy J3 Achieve, I would say this is a budget device. I spent $79 plus tax when I purchased the phone, total of uh, $86. The phone should be available through Sprint as well and I checked the price is $190. I'm not sure if Sprint they have better deal than the price I have seen online or not. So let's go ahead just move on the box itself. This is how the phone is going to look. I like this uh, color uh, picture, the Boost uh, mobile logo here in the top. There's very nice packaging and there is the main specs on the device. 5 inch high definition TFT display with 16 gigabyte of the internal memory and 2 gigabyte of RAM 1.3 octa-core processor main feature in the device let's go ahead and flip the box to see if we can get more specifications for the phone yes we got that the, this battery it should be removable and the size will be 2600 milliamp power battery 8 megapixel for the camera which is the main one and 5 for the front camera it doesn't give us any information if we have a wide angle camera or not for the front we'll find out more in this video so the android operating system that should be oreo operating system 8.0.0 and the the phone is capable with cdma of course boost or sprint network 1.3 octa core processor i'll find out more about the processor and the later on in the video now let's crack this box open and the phone is still sealed I just love unboxing phones actually but this phone it's it's not something I like the way it opens there's no like scotch tape or anything like that there we go so much paper over here but finally we got to open the phone there we go oh I love this package over here beautiful beautiful over here that blue color J3 achieve let's go ahead and try to open this and that has actually uh, very much scotch tape so let me just bring a knife and we will cut it open it just like it see it's very good actually we have also tape from the other side let me see if that all right so finally we have open first thing first you'll see the phone there we go here is the phone still wrapped in the plastic and we have the terms and conditions we have the safety guide uh, the the cell phone information and we have the 2600 milliamp hour battery it's fully charged battery before calling your provider and to activate the phone so make sure to charge your battery before you call the provider to activate the phone here the charger and we have of course mini usb to charger we don't have usb see very much that's everything you get in the box there is no headphone anything comes with the phone it's going to be only uh the the charger the cable and the battery but for right now we need just the uh, very much the battery and the phone itself so let's go ahead and also have the lock on the device itself wow the phone looks so good actually even for like a budget device that glass on the front so nice 
the build construction of course it will be plastic matte black over here the one so light because the battery not inside and i like that the this time the cover of the flash and the camera all together 8 megapixel sensor camera it has a curved which is uh, make the phone easy to carry around and the mini USB, the microphone, the headphone jack they're gonna be in the bottom, the power key is gonna be from uh, the bottom as well so now let me go ahead and open the speaker should be over here, this is the speaker that's not the tab where you open the back here we go, we open the back and the SIM card is pre-installed on the device itself we're gonna put the battery and we're gonna uh, just skip the activation screen and all that stuff and we absolutely gonna come back with you with my first impression now after spending a little bit of time playing in this phone uh, let me just tell you about the main features in the software first of all the phone has the uh, Bixby that because the phone also comes with the Android Noga as I mentioned before and if you guys want me to go ahead and confirm that for you so let's just go ahead about the phone and then let's go to software information and it's going to be 8.0.0 and you will see the Oreo logo over here which is kind of neat now one of the things that I never expected to be in a budget device like this the phone has the smart view means you can stream from your phone to your smart TV so whatever comes in this screen it will be on your TV so it's kind of something really cool to have that feature even in the budget device like the Samsung Galaxy J3 achieve also one of the things I want to confirm to you it's about the hardware of the phone so let's go ahead just go to uh, CPU Z just to confirm some information for you so the processor it will be Exynos 7885 and surprisingly the uh, that processor performance is so good like I was playing at the phone downloading a few things the phone doesn't even lag or give me any problem whatsoever and when I downloaded Geek Pinch it gave me the score of 820 for the single core and 2640 so very much the single core in this device even better score than the LG Stylo 4 if you guys see in my video on that phone over there so this is something really impressing me over here that phone like this with that kind of price I did not expect anything from phone in this uh, range to have uh, uh, like more speed than some other mid-ranger devices also let's go ahead and talk about the camera and the phone by just going to the application and it's good to mention that the camera is 8 megapixel there is a flash included the back camera does a great job but there is no any option here now there is some options but there's not a whole lot of things no filters no stickers a lot of things you're not going to see it in this device so you will have fit screen uh, button to change the the camera and some settings now the video resolution full high definition you can take with the rear camera which is something pretty good also just by going to the settings you'll be able to adjust the resolution and the megapixel not even more than that but let's go ahead and move on some samples I have taken and talk about these pictures so I've taken a few pictures some of them inside some of them are outside basically but just by going to the rear camera the rear camera it's so good I mean resolution real colors very contrast very vivid I mean also the display because it's high definition with a small phone also it provides good pictures absolutely I'm going outside with the selfie you're not gonna see any good result because the whole background is washed out I mean the white balance is so bad here in this camera going for less light it will be a little bit improvement but still we have the same issue on the background uh, here's another uh, ca uh, picture taken on the back camera. The back camera, it's so good, but the front camera, in my opinion, not too good over here. This is also taken by the back camera. And selfie, no filters, no beauties, mode or anything like that doesn't help to provide the best picture. So if you want to buy this phone for selfie pictures, I wouldn't even recommend something like this. Now overall speaking about the, the phone for the amount of money you're going to spend on this phone in my opinion it's not a bad phone for too many things I mean you can do a screen mirroring from your phone to your TV 
Also, Bixby Vision is available for you. Bixby Assistance available for you. Google Assistance also available for you. Decent back camera, let's say 8 megapixel, takes really good pictures outdoors. Maybe the front is very disappointing. The size of the phone is very compact, fits your, your pocket easily if you don't like to buy huge phones. The pan is still available. The battery is removable the storage has 16 gigabyte in my opinion sufficient if you want to download your social media your bank account few games here and there this phone will be perfect for you and that was very much it for this video thank you so much everyone for watching if you find this video helpful for you to purchase this phone please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more future content also if you don't want to miss my content hit the bell to be notified for every time i post a video you will be notified thank you so much again for watching as always we'll talk to you in the next video